Hey everybody, Tom Reed from Cleveland.com. We're just hours away from day two of the NFL draft. Got kicked off last night, the Browns obviously trading down again to get more picks, ending up with Corey Coleman, the, the wide receiver from, um, from Baylor. But today, I think today is the biggest day of the draft for the Browns. And I say that because look at the picks they have. They have a chance to kind of own this day. They have the first pick in the second round. They've got all night to think about it. They've got all kind of teams calling, maybe wanting to trade up again, and, and where the Browns could pick up a couple other picks. Plus, they have three picks in the third round. I mean, when you look back at this day in a couple years, I say that this is going to be a very important day, one way or the other, where the Browns really took a step forward or they took a step back. Let's look at some of the guys who I think are going to be around in that 32, 33 range and whether the Browns want to keep the pick or they want to trade the guy. I know one name that's going to come up is Miles Jack. Miles Jack's that talented, outstanding linebacker from UCLA who unfortunately had the knee injury in September and may have to have microfracture surgery. Uh, to me, that's really scary. I, I'm just not sure if, if I'm still willing to make that deal at, or that pick at this high. Uh, but some team might want to do this. And let's face it, the Browns have a lot of needs. They don't think they just need a linebacker. So I might be willing to let a team move up and take Miles Jack at that spot. Connor Cook, the, the quarterback from Michigan State, won a lot of games. There's, there seems to be a very polarizing figure in this draft. Uh, but he's somebody you certainly might consider. Pro-style guy, maybe the, the second most NFL-ready guy in this draft uh, behind Jared Goff, who went number one. Uh, another guy, Derrick Henry, the running back from Alabama. He wasn't in my original Searching for 32 series, but you look at him, I mean, uh, he is a big back. And have that com that one-two combination with Duke Johnson and maybe a big back, I think Henry might be a, a good addition. Uh, maybe a little high, but I still think he's going to be in there. Depending on if the Browns trade down, I think you could get good value for him. A teammate for him on the opposite side of the ball from Alabama, Reggie Raglan. There's a guy to look at. You know, the, the Browns need to, to, to improve their linebacking core. That's a name to keep in mind, as is Ohio State safety Von Bell, a guy that, you know, you lose Tayshawn Gibson. Here's a guy that could step in. He's been kind of compared to Tayshawn Gibson. Good coverage, safety. They're hard to find. I think he'd be a good addition as well. And the last guy we'll talk about is another former Ohio State guy who's now at Eastern Kentucky. Uh, Noah Spence. Uh, we know Hugh Jackson talked about character and how he needs high character guys. You know, Noah Spence, most people know the story. He had some issues at Ohio State, uh, ended up having to go to, to Eastern Kentucky. He's a guy that maybe, maybe you'll look at, but uh, well, again, that'll be a test of what, where Hugh Jackson wants this program to go. But all in all, just a great day too. I think it's going to be very exciting. I think it's really going to plot the future of the Cleveland Browns.